Well, as NATO bombs continue to rain down on Libya, it's come to light that one alliance member may have been helping supply the enemy. Several large Spanish banks are reported to have financed the manufacturers of cluster bombs, a weapon that's been banned since 2008. Artie Sirafirth's got the story. In just one strike, a cluster bomb can spread thousands of smaller explosives over wide areas. Fired into populated areas as they were in Misrata recently, they almost guarantee civilian deaths. One of the many reasons more than 100 countries have banned their production. The markings on the shells found in the Libyan city belong to Spanish company Instalaza. There were arms, MAT 120s, that are prohibited, that were purchased by Gaddafi, that were used against the, the residential area in Misrata, and they were produced by a Spanish company and financed by Spanish banks. So just how did Gaddafi forces come to acquire Spanish-made arms? Well, in 2007, Instalaza made the most of the lifting of arms sanctions against Libya as the Tripoli regime fell back into favour with the West. Spanish company won a contract to supply Gaddafi's forces with their cluster munitions and did so until 2008, when Spain signed up to the international convention banning their use. But with Libya now once again the enemy, Spain, as part of NATO, finds itself fighting a regime that it itself helped to arm. And the trail goes back much further to Spanish banks, which provided the financial firepower to Instalaza to make their deadly weapons of war. We wanted to bring this link forward, use this as kind of a, a way to illustrate what link there is between a bank and civilian deaths in conflicts. Cluster munitions may now be banned in many countries, but banks continue to invest in companies which make other controversial weapons. And without legislation, there remains a direct connection between civilian deaths, the weapon producers, and the banks that finance them, and therefore too, the bank's customers. Banks are not really transparent about what they are using the savers' money for, so it's not that easy to find it out. A recent report by Spanish NGO Satem revealed that as many as 14 banks in Spain are involved with funding weapons producers. BBVA is the Spanish bank that's been most active in financing producers of controversial weapons and it's exactly this kind of large-scale financing that campaigners are now trying to rein in, pushing for the development of more robust policies that ensure the banks are held accountable. Many of the banks named in the investigation are now coming forward to say their policies on funding arms production are to change with or without legislation. But until that happens, in the murky world of arms production, war remains a profitable business. Sarah Firth, RT, Madrid.